What's up, Degenerates? My name's Tom Long. I play poker online and in person. With COVID right now, everything's being played online. This is my first tournament with Poker Stars. Um, I live in New Jersey, so I'm only going to be playing with people from Jersey. So you'll see a lot of the same names in here um, between all my videos. But this is my first video. If you guys like it, please subscribe. Um, I'm making these so that way you guys can hopefully learn from my successes and from my faults from anything that I may do. Um, you guys can put anything any constructive criticism in the comments just to kind of tell me you know hey do this do this instead so this is the first hand it's a one dollar tournament and we're on the button and we open up with pocket jacks i could not ask for a better start we get raised 60 and then we decide that we have such a good hand we're going to raise them back to 210 so everyone else folds and it's just me and this one guy and he calls comes out five ace eight rainbow he checks to us we decided to go for a half pot bet just to kind of show that we still have strength. Hopefully he thinks we have an ace and he folds to us. So we take down our first pot, easy. All right, next hand, we get dealt pocket tens. Uh, same guy raises 60 and we're and someone next to him calls. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna raise, but we're gonna raise to 100 this time. Everyone in front of us folds, small blind, big blind, and the rest of the two call the pre-blind raisers. And then we're just gonna half pot bet again. And we're going to take down the first guy. And we still have one guy left. Not sure what he might have. Um, we're kind of showing him we have strength. He's hopefully thinking he, we may have king. So we check it to him. He's got nine queen. He was really kind of, I don't know what he was doing. Uh, we take it down with the tens. Third hand, we get dealt pocket threes. I hate pocket threes. We raise up. Just hopefully get this hand out easy and everyone folds. So we, we like that. I hate playing pocket threes. They're, they're very hard to play. On the button, we get dealt a7 suited. We decide to raise this up. Everyone behind us folds. So we can just try to get the big blind and small blind off. Small blind calls, big blind folds. The flop comes out of dud, nine, three, four, two clubs. He raises at it, so we just fold it away. It's not really worth it for us to really try to make anything out of that hand. We get dealt queen, jack, off suit in the middle position here. One guy behind us raises. So we decided just to call that. Uh, it was a good enough raise for us. We don't really want to two bet into that. And it comes out queen, king, eight, two spades. Bet's 100 behind it. We call five of diamonds. Bet 140. We call nine of clubs. Now, I don't know what he really has here. He's been betting so low. He checks. So we're just going to take that and check. So it looks like he was on a draw. Uh, not sure what he was looking for uh that flush draw straight draw um so we just take it down with the top pair and uh, we're happy with it we get dealt ace eight of hearts under the gun so we raise up to 60 four people ahead of us fold small blind calls big blind calls flop comes out seven three king two diamonds and a back door flush with the heart we raise up to 30 call and fold behind or in front of us uh jack of clubs we check he checks five of hearts check check we lose he had a pair of threes you know we didn't lose too much we could have definitely made that a worse hand but uh we'll take the minimal loss a little minimal damage with with that hand that we had um we get dealt a seven off suit as the big blind we have four people behind us all limp in so we check uh four seven ten two clubs comes the flop so we got middle pair top kicker so we bet the 75 two people ahead of us call the button folds and then the guy behind us folds eight of clubs comes out the turn so we don't like this card someone may have had this flush draw there's two hands here so we check it raise re-raise we fold i'm going to show you this guy's hand just that way you guys can see what these people do and what would you have done in this situation trip eights with a flush draw. Now, of course, the guy loses to the flush. But would you? could you fold down the trip eights? It's not an easy put down, but you got to have that hero fold. And he just loses his tournament life for that. So we get dealt king 10 of clubs and the small blind here in the next hand. Uh, the button raises to 90. We call. Big blind call. So we're going three-way to the pot. King 7, 8. Two spades. We have top pair, so we raise. See what the people ahead of us do. A fold and a fold, so we just take down that pot easy. Uh, next hand, seven, six, suited. On the button, 
kind of a difficult one. This guy behind us raises. We fold this. Uh, it's not really worth it for us to really risk this so early, especially with how all in happy these people have been. Uh, it's really not worth it. So the next hand, we get dealt pocket nines. I don't know what it is with us in these pocket pairs in this tournament, but we raise this up to 90. And we have one person call us. It comes out 10, 10, ace, two diamonds. We raise the 113 show, and we may still have that ace. And he folds away, and we win that pot. And then we get dealt the worst possible hand in poker. And we fold that away. At the big blind here, we get dealt ace two of hearts. Under the gun calls. Button raises to 90. We call that, I don't love this hand, but being in the big blind, that's okay. Okay, we get 9, 10, queen, two spades. So we have a straight draw and a flush draw here. We don't really have anything. Under the gun, 90. Oh, we just fold that away. We're not playing this game. Uh, let's see what these people do here, though. See, see if you can figure out what these guys are may have under their uh, under their hand. Just because it's it's kind of good to see how people play and to see what maybe you would do in the situation. What do you think they have? So this guy did have a he had a flush draw in his draw. We get dealt ace king of diamonds here under the gummy raised to one oh five. We get re raised and we call. Comes out a whole dud. Seven, four, three, two spades. And he bested 202, 262. I don't know what he's got here. Uh, nine of diamonds comes out. The button re raises. I'm just going to fold this away. He could have anything here. I don't know really how he plays. Kind of sucks putting down an ace, king of diamonds there. But with such a dry board, um, it's, it's very confusing to see what he may have had. I. I would you guys have played that differently? I mean, would you have seen the river card and risked it? Do you think he had a pair? Do you think we had him beat with an ace high? I, I don't I don't know. It just wasn't worth it for me to really play that. I could put him on a pocket pair um, and really be beat almost all the time there unless I hit a river, um, which I don't like to play, you know, hero on the river if I, if I know I'm behind. Um, I tried to... Stay ahead and know I'm ahead if I'm going to go to the river like that. After what seems like forever and just sitting here and folding every hand away, we get dealt pocket kings and the small blind. I don't understand what's up with these pocket kings, but then we get an all in and we call. We have one person left, so it's just us. Ducks versus kings, and he gets a two on the flop, and he wins this. I, I you know... A bad beat, yeah. I really couldn't put that one down. It's, you know, it's upsetting losing that hand like that. You haven't beat, you know, eight times out of ten. He only had one card that really could help him out, and he got it. You know, he got the luck. You, that's why you gamble. Uh, it's, it's luck and skill here, so. You know, I, I think that's still the right play. I'll play it that way every single time. Especially when I have him covered almost twice over. I will always call that with pocket kings. I don't see anything wrong with what I played. I just got unlucky, I think. Um, but then this next hand gets a little out of hand. Um, I'm going to show this one to you just because I'm just seeing a bunch of all-ins, raises, calls. There's four people here. And the pot's already at around $3,000 pre-flop. Comes queen, five, jack, rainbow. I you know, it's it's not a bust, but someone had to hit it. We get another all in and another all in. So we're three all ins. One guy's got everyone covered, and he rivers them. He rivers it, which is depressing. It it's, it's it happens a lot here. It seems like online poker river really is a killer. So there's six people left in this tournament. So we gotta kind of play safe here since we just got half stacked basically. Uh, losing with pocket kings. In the big blind, we're dealt seven king off suit here. One guy limps in. Big bl small blind folds. Uh, we don't have much, so we're just going to check it. Uh, ace, five, nine, two spades. We raise it. Shall we maybe have something? He calls. So we check the four of diamonds. He checks five of spades. We check again. We take this down with a high card. 
you know, we don't make much, but we take down something. And we didn't really play that dumb. I, I don't think I could have played that any better if I raised that. I think we were going to win the same pot, and we just had the chance of maybe him re-raising us and getting us off of a of a bluff from him. Um, so we dealt 10 queen off suit in the small blind. Everyone limps in. We raise it to 100. Big blind folds. Under the gun calls. Under the gun plus one calls. And the button calls. We're four way to flop. Three king, five, two diamonds. We check. Doesn't really give anyone's hand unless you have a king. Button raised to 450 after everyone checks to him. We just fold that away. It's not worth for us to try to bluff this one at him. Especially with two other people still to go after. Um, we don't know what they have. Uh, you know, they're way over stack us. So we're just going to put this one down and look for another day. We're in fifth out of five people. I think top three make the money. So we got to really play safe here, but we got to try to hopefully double up at some point in order to try to really make some money. Otherwise, we're just going to get bullied for the rest of this tournament. We get dealt Jack 10 off suit here under the gun plus one. Under the gun folds, we raise to 100. Uh, we got a decent hand. I think we can play this if people raise us i think we can jam with this jack 10 plays pretty well you know it it's kind of synonymous with that ace king but a little bit lower you still have a draw you kind of have that open straight you know you got the queens the nines the eights you can kind of get it straight on either end um you can get some nice pairs with this and you can really disguise this as something else um, especially if someone gets a pair of maybe queens you can you know take them to value with a straight draw um, so the guy ahead of us goes into the tank for some reason. Uh, he's probably AFK, which is kind of the problem with playing online. Sometimes it's it's a very fast paced game. I try to talk really fast here, um, but not sure what he's really thinking over unless he's just not at the table right now. He eventually decides to call. Button folds. Small blind calls the big blind call so again four ways so now we come out ace nine jack rainbow so we got middle pair we're gonna race the 350 we, we were the aggressor pre-flop so we can show that we maybe have an ace uh so we semi bluff this um the two people ahead of us fold so the big blind he goes all in and with an ace out there back door straight draw and a middle pair i'm not going broke for a middle pair we just fold this away I don't know if it was the right play. Um, you know, maybe he was just calling our bluff, but I'm not going to risk it right now when he has us stacked three times over. We're not really going to make much out of this if we do win, but we can really lose a lot if we lose. So we're just going to fold it away, and I really hate that. This was one of the ones I'm not sure if I played this right, so uh, let me know if, if you guys would have played this differently. We get dealt queen seven of hearts in the big blind. The first three fold button raises to 100 small blind calls with 1500 effective we're gonna call seven eight ten two clubs comes the flop so we got bottom pair we're gonna go all in here i don't think anyone hit anything on this board it's kind of a dry board we hit the seven we get another all in he's got 10 jack and he takes it down and we lose our tournament life on that kind of had to be aggressive there if i didn't go all in there i think we were going to be a big big disadvantage um especially going with 100 pre-flop there um definitely didn't play that one great kind of embarrassed about that play um you know it was only a dollar on the tournament so i'm not really missing a lot of it Just trying to be aggressive trying to really show this guy because he, he's been known to go all in a lot. He's been known to bluff here. Um, as you saw earlier, it was the same guy who raised me all in when I had the, the pair of jacks. I don't know what he had, but he seemed to be very aggressive. So we decided to just see if he'll call with something that he maybe didn't have. Uh, he had a pair of tens and beat us. So yeah, that's uh, my first tournament here on YouTube. This is the first one I'm going to make. Hopefully there's many more. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, if you guys liked it, please give it a like, subscribe. You don't even have to watch it. You can just have it on the background. If you subscribe, um, 
once I reach about a thousand subscribers, um, I'll try to do a giveaway of some sort just to kind of get you guys motivated to, to watch these videos and stuff like that. Um, hopefully someone learned something from this and hopefully someone can be sitting there and just saying, what the heck was that? Why would you make that play? Um, you know, I, I definitely looking back on it, I can say that about some of these, um, but in the heat of the moment, um, you know, I feel like I played everything correctly, but, um, you know, that's, that's kind of how it goes in poker. You got to gamble sometimes and sometimes you get the river. Um, and, and it does happen a lot here on online poker, which sometimes people like to say it's rigged only because, you know, you have a 5% chance to win on the river and it always seems like that 5% chance wins. Um, as you saw with the, the Kings versus the twos really, really killed us there. Um, if that hand didn't happen, I think we would have been a good shot to really make the money. Um, while I only maybe made another extra dollar, um, it, it would be nice to really put that on my resume there to say, hey, I can I can play well in tournaments and hopefully when I move up to larger tournaments, um, I can make the money there. Um, but I like to practice at the lower, lower uh, stakes first. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, leave a comment if you want to see me play a certain game type if you maybe want to meet up and play online or in person once everything kind of opens back up um, let me know and i'll keep making videos i'll try to make one a week at least just that way you guys can uh see some good content and hopefully learn something from from what i do from the mistakes i make and uh some of the good plays that i i can make and i'll try to give some insight as to why i'm playing certain things and doing things a certain way all right Good luck, guys. Hopefully you guys uh, play well in these uh, tournaments and these cash games online. Um, they're supposedly not rigged, but we'll, we'll see how that goes.